Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again, it's time for a bench press day. But a quick reminder for those of you who watch these videos, please remember to click like down below. It would be greatly appreciated. Uh, today's bench press was a disaster. <laughs> and I'm just going to call it what it is. It was a disaster. Um, I fully understand what happened. We're not going to mess with the ball script anymore. It's just not workable for my bar pass. Here's what I noticed when I finally went heavy and went for a single. I'm weaker. I'm weaker. And what I'm noticing on the rep work, my touch point is a lot lower. It's a lot lower uh, because of the way I have to grip it. And I can't get the best leverages. And it's overusing my delts out of the bottom. And I totally miss this. And I don't miss close grip benches out of the bottom really like this. So this is only 320. And I did 315 easy last time in the training cycle. Easy and knew we had could have got more. Look where it's stuck. All right, look where it's stuck. Also, uh, my delts are still sore today. All that incline work I did tells me that that incline is really hammering my delts. That is some of the most insane interior deltoid doms I think I've had in years. Uh, so we need to keep doing that for the incline day, address that weak link. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna go back to the normal grip for the close grip, keep ramping it up. I'm not that worried about that miss. I know people are gonna come in, trolls are gonna love it, but that's okay. They're going to feel silly when I'm right back to hitting bigger lifts again. Uh, because, again, it totally puts my bar path in a bad position for me. It really, again, terrible leverages on my delts because I have to touch a lot lower. And that's not where I've hit my biggest benches. Like, my best close grips have been about one inch below the nipper. Right? Like, when I've hit the 350 a couple times in the past, that's where I touched. So, I, I need to keep my grip in a way that does that. All right, today we're working barbell rows back then. We can call them penley rows if we want. I just call them barbell rows. All right, barbell rows. Going to keep working the upper back. Um, again, overall shoulder health, building the upper back, building the things that I need. I'm just done messing with overhead type stuff for a while. Rows do the most for all my lifts. Do the most for my bench. I have the incline to work delts, right, as far as front delts and everything go. Uh, again, this works my whole belt, all this rowing I'm doing. I'm fine. So we're going to build the upper back. And I want, again, a lot of grip work in here. A lot of grip work. So again, we're going to do two types of rows. We're going to do 10 sets of rows every upper day. And I'm going to do hammer curls. And I may add shrugs on my lower body days. So these felt a lot better. Uh, I went over to my normal grip again. First set didn't feel perfect as far as getting the groove because, again, I wasn't used to doing this again. I just did a whole week with the false grip. Uh, but then it kind of dialed in. It's like, yeah, this is this is better for me. It's what I need to do. It's what I need to do. And keep building the upper back. Keep building the triceps. Keep building the delts. But we'll be right back to hitting good lifts again. And yeah, my volumes are going to go up. Here's the other thing I'm realizing. I'm going to adjust my diet. I don't need to run my carbs as long as I'm doing. I just need to maintain a deficit. I'm going to bring carbs back in a little more. Let me do these higher training volumes that I need uh, because, again, I need the training volume. Even though I'm cutting, I need to try to make progress. We've got to strip down. But I can't let my training volumes drop down. I really can't. And I really need to focus on maximizing body composition. And again, I don't know why this comes up in the comments all the time when people say, but Jason, people can't make any gains while cutting or advanced lifters. You said that. No, I didn't say that. I've given you guys specific demographics. Quit assuming I'm in those demographics. All right. You guys make a lot of really bizarre assumptions <laughs> just because I don't say certain things. I, I Let me just be clear. I am going for non-drug tested master's records. I have a 28 fat-free mass index. Okay. Should be a point where you would think people could, something would click in their head. But I'm not going to come out and say it. So, yes, I plan on making gains while I cut. I need to get stronger. Well, you guys have already seen me hitting some big deadlifts. Squats coming back up. All right, we'll get there. So I really wanted to get two different angles of rows. So I like these 45 degree incline rows with the dumbbells. 
I really like these because this really builds the whole shoulder girdle also. This will get you yoked. Still a, a lat exercise, but this will work the delts. What do I mean the delts? Side delts. Like this is my shoulder exercise. Again, look at the data. People will say, this doesn't work the side delts. Uh, you failed human biomechanics. All three heads of the traps, rear delt, side delt, lats. Grip, a little bit of bicep forearm. Biceps need their own work because really rowing isn't enough for biceps. Pull-ups and chin-ups work biceps. Uh, if, if we look at the research, both hypertrophy studies and EMG, they're both consistent with each other. Rows only cause about half the bicep growth that curls do. Pull-ups, chin-ups, lat pull-downs cause the same growth that curls do. All right, horizontal pull stomp. So I'm going to do curls. I'm going to do, keep doing curls. Five sets of hammer curls today. Um, hammer curls will be coming up. People say, why? Why hammer curls? Because I need to work all the parts of the arm. And I need my forearm and grip to grow, not just biceps. Again, I want these things to do more than one function. Only exception might be my little tricep exercises. All right, dumbbell presses. Uh, since I'm doing all this heavy work first, I only care about a good pump on this stuff. This is all pump work at the end. I'm going to work on, as you guys saw here, just like I did with the, the inclines last time, I'm going to get better and better at getting into position so that I can, over time, maybe go heavier and heavier. But I want control. I want range of motion. I want pump. Okay, we're doing heavy work beforehand. I'm going to be doing all the closed grip pressing and incline closed grip pressing is my heavy work. This stuff is my pump work after. We need to be able to control it. And if you're having to throw dumbbells on the floor, you can't get into and out of position with the dumbbells you're using. Maybe they're too heavy. Your reps are too low. You're cheating. Maybe you're just that cock diesel strong. Odds are you aren't. And it's really hard because of this design with the, the posts on the end because of the Olympic handles. So it's harder, especially with the clamp style. I have to be very careful with those clamps so they don't cut me. I have to turn them a certain way so they don't cut my thigh, which I've had happen already once. Um, but again, I'm finding the positions, start and stop positions where I can get these in, just like I did with the inclines. And I'll, I'll build these up. But these were pretty much for the fifth set because I'm doing five sets of ten. First set's not hard. I'm pretty much almost hitting failure at the end. Last couple sets, the 10th rep was everything I had, even with these lighter dumbbells. Because again, the accumulation of the workload after five sets, and keeping in mind, we've done other pressing always first. All right, this is how we make the most out of something like dumbbells. But I'm at a point where it's like, look, I need to be able to get these into and out of position on my own. If you need a spotter to do it, or you've got to throw them down, again, Maybe you don't, you're not using dumbbells correctly. You've got to be able to control it. And I think that's a good litmus test for maybe you're going too heavy. Because in this case, I'm trying to get that stretch at the bottom. I want that stretch reflex. And that's what I'm noticing, man. A ton of pec in front delt. A ton of pec in front delt on these. All right, hammer curls went with 50s today. In these, I don't mind a little bit of swing. You know why? Because I want to go heavy. This is going to be slightly different because I want the grip training and I need the heavier ones to make sure we get grip work. But five sets of 10 with the 50s, uh, yeah, these were hard. These were hard. And again, great bicep pump, great forearm pump. I need to thicken these areas up. We've got to get them thicker to help with my bench press. I want the extra grip and forearm work for my deadlift. Right now, my deadlift is limited by my grip. So we are gonna row and hammer curl and shrug and all that stuff. And then I pull for, for reps without straps on my deadlift day now too. Okay, build the grip, build the grip, build the grip. If I need to, I'll work fat bar work back in. Um, I've decided to drop even the dead hangs. I don't like them. I don't feel like they're doing anything further for my shoulder health at this point. Sometimes they just make my shoulders click. And as much as they helped with my impingement, I'm not worried about an impingement again. I'm not doing overhead work. 
It's a point where I don't care. Let's just focus on getting strong at the lifts I need to get strong at. And it means I need to get thick, and I need to get thick while maintaining shoulder health. That's why we're going to close grip bench. We're going to incline instead of overhead. I'm just going to do tons of rowing. I'm not even going to worry about chin-ups or pull-ups for now. And I'm strong at those no matter what. Like, there's been times I take time off from chin-ups and stuff, and then I've come in, and you guys are seeing me strap up, you know, 25 on and start cranking out sets of 10. Well, I haven't done chin-ups. I'm taking months off from them. And as I lose body fat, my lats and biceps grow from this other stuff. I'll probably get stronger at them still if I ever want to test them. All right, then we're finishing off with a little bit of tricep fluff. You know why? I'm closed grip benching. I'm closed grip benching. I need to make sure my triceps grow. Just a little bit of finishing work. A little bit of finishing work. Make sure the long head, everything gets stretched. Uh, and these are hard. When you go, again, the range of motion I'm doing, keeping them tucked in tight, these are relatively hard. Just little 30-pound dumbbells. It's fine. Again, just finishing off the triceps after all the heavy pressing and then volume pressing. I need bigger arms across the board. I need my entire arms to get bigger, all of it. So that's why we're going to always do a little bit of arm work, especially now that I'm close grip benching. I think my arms in general are a weak link on a lot of my lifts. All right, they are. Let's keep giving them the attention they need. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.